hello 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 um i'm glad to be back i'm jessica but there you already know that um so i'm doing this series of videos um and content as well about personal development and we're going to get to the business part but it's all business through the personal development perspective all right so last video i spoke about starting your self-love journey and like i said it's not a deal done deals journey something that you're gonna uh keep doing and, and keep practicing like over the over the days and throughout your whole life to be honest so today we can assume that yes it's self-love journey still but we are going to talk about unlocking your dreams right um i chose this topic because I've seen a lot of people struggling with either starting to work on their dreams or actually defining their dreams. So I was like, I mean, why not go straight to it? And a lot of people were like, but that's not that easy, Jessica. That's not just, I'm going to wake up and work on my dream. And I'm like, yes, I know. That's why I'm going to do this video. And I'm going to tell you, <laughs> how can you do that? How can you unlock your dream? Right? Um, so I'm going to go straight to it uh, because you guys said that the last video was too long. So point number one, um, be honest enough with yourself. So most of us, we know that we have dreams. We have lots of dreams. I mean, I want a Mercedes. I want like, I don't want a big house actually, but I want that life, right? The dream life. And it has a lot of components, but I have one big dream. And my one big dream is to transform lives, right? And my job is to find ways to do that according to my skills. So in your case, what is your dream? What's your one and only dream? If they said you have like one, one chance, let's imagine that you met the genie in the bottle, right? And you have one wish. What would you wish for to come true? Okay. So be honest enough to talk about it, like with yourself, not, not, not with people, with yourself, write it down and feel it, feel the dream in your bones. Like, how would that look like? How would visualize it? How would that look like? How would that feel like? Start embracing the dream within yourself. That's step number one. Be honest enough to define and to start visualizing your dream. Step number two, start on your own. That like this sounds rough, but start on your own. When I say start on your own, because we're always like, oh, if I only could meet Oprah, man, she would sign me a deal and I would be like, yeah, my dream is coming true. But I'm not going to meet Oprah like tomorrow. I hope I meet her and I know I'm going to meet her. But I know that's not going to happen like in the blink of an eye. So what can you actually do to attract the people you need to make your dream come true? But let me say this. The only person you need to make your dream come through is yourself. Like, honestly, it's not an external factor. It's really within yourself. It's really within what are you willing to do? What are you willing to sacrifice? What are you willing to risk to make this dream come true? So it doesn't depend on others. And take that responsibility out of people and put it on yourself. And you will see that there's a lot you can do to start working on your dream. So quit that idea of I'm waiting for the right moment. I'm waiting for the right opportunity because there are nothing nothing kills a dream faster than i'm waiting for the right moment or talking about your dream to small-minded people like do not do that one because there's no right moment the right moment is exactly when you act on it that's the right moment when you take action towards making your dream coming true that's the right moment and you are the one who creates the right moment okay um and talking uh about your dream to small-minded people it's the shortest way to giving up because they don't understand. They don't have that vision. God gave that vision to you. So you are responsible for working on it and not them. You are the one who understands it, not them. You are supposed, you're the one who's supposed to figure it out, not them. So of course they're going to think it's crazy that you want to be like a champion in whatever formula, whatever you want to be a champion on. People go, oh, it's going to think that that's too much right? That's super crazy. You shouldn't think, of, you shouldn't think that, oh, I'm going to be on a cover of Forbes one day. People are like, really? But I'm like, watch it, wait for it. I'm going to get there. Right? So don't, don't, I mean, I think you only need yourself for starters and then you will attract the right people because believe me, your tribe is out there. 
your people are out there. You just need to take a step into your dream. And those people will start like connecting to you. You will meet them. And it won't feel forced. You'll feel like I belong to those people. I belong with these people. So do not seek for approval. Do not seek for people to actually validate you, right? That's going to happen with time. Step number three. That's, <laughs> that's the hardest one but it's the most essential. Love your failures because you're going to fail. You're not going to get it right at the, at the, like at first, like, bam, I did it. Eh, not really. So love your failures. Learn that your failures are actually a sign that you can find a better way to do it. Okay. And there's even a saying about that, like find whenever you fail, you found a way that doesn't work. Like you found a way that it wouldn't work anyway. So you can try it again. It's something around that. I don't have it in mind right now. So learn to love your failures because they're nothing more than lessons. They're actually teaching you something. Either they're teaching you something then certain failures, they're actually making you more resilient. And if there's one thing you need in life that is an essential skill is resilience which is the ability to endure during hard times you can stand still you can endure you can take it there's nothing that can knock you down you're like a freaking beast when it comes to your dream and that's what we need to do we need to be beasts when it comes to our dreams we need to be undefeated honestly i've been knocked down more than i wanted to but i didn't stay down i'm like no, actually, I'm going to keep going because I really believe in this because this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And I'm not, I didn't, I never had the perfect conditions to work on my dreams. I just found myself working on them because if I'm not doing that, what else, what service am I doing to the world? What, what, why should I have been like, you know? So it's your sense of purpose that needs to guide you to do this. Okay. And when I speak about the right conditions, this whole YouTube videos that I'm doing, right? I mean, I'm recording a video from my bed and <laughs> one of the feedbacks that I got is like, Oh, next time, can you please use a more steady, super like steady, like, you know, place to record a video. Cause it shakes sometimes. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> and I'm like, um, well, guess what? I don't have <laughs> a steady surface to record my videos on. I'm using my very, very, very cheap phone and I'm doing what I can. So start with what you have. Start from what you have for with what you can. Okay. I, I don't have a clue on how to edit videos. I'm learning and I'm sorry. I just rely on being cute and recording the videos. And I hope you guys can pay attention to the content because that's what matters. Um, and that's it guys that's what i wanted to share with you today um be honest um start your start on your own don't wait for the right moment and love your failures because they're lessons and i hope you give me some feedback on this what do you think what are your struggles why are you struggling with why don't you put your dream out there why are you not working on your dream can you tell me that tell me that on your comments tell me that through any way that you can reach me out um subscribe share this video i mean i really want you to subscribe but i'm really i'm i really ask you to share the video with as many people as possible that can relate to the video that can really find this useful thank you very much for staying with me and stay safe wash your hands stay indoors if you can if you're not just stay safe okay thank you